Between 1991 and 1997, the Folio Society issued a series of its smallest books, one each year. These gems are all tiny poetry collections, 32 pages long and a mere 12 by 8.5 centimetres, or about 5 by 3 inches. The seven volumes were printed letterpress and bound in moiré silk and enclosed in thin cardboard gold cases embossed with the Folio Society logo. Each of these charming tiny volumes has illustrated end papers and include numerous wood gravings by different artists. Several were given away as additional joining incentives, but were also available for purchase at £7.95 each when they were released. In 1991, the first volume to be released was The Lady of Shalott, Alfred Lord Tennyson's lyrical ballad that was inspired by the Arthurian legend of Elaine of Astolat, who dies of her unrequited love for Sir Lancelot. It is bound in maroon moiré silk and illustrated with engravings by Hatwood Phipps. The maroon end papers feature the lilies blown round an island there below, the island of Shalott. Nineteen ninety two saw Robert Browning's dramatic and humorous poem telling the story of the Pied Piper of Hamelin. This one is bound in dark brown moiré silk, but like most of the volumes in this series, it's prone to fading. Engravings are by John Lawrence, and the chocolate coloured end papers feature rats. They fought the dogs and killed the cats, and dipped the babies in the cradles, and ate the cheeses out of the vats, and licked the soup from the cook's own ladles. In 1993's The Garden and Other Poems by Andrew Marvel features the title poem, which is a meditation in a garden, along with the picture of little TC in a prospect of flowers, the mower against gardens, Damon the mower, the mower to the glow worms, the mower's song, the garden of Appleton House, and to his coy mistress. It is illustrated with nine small wood engravings by Harry Brockway. In 1994, Folio released Sir Patrick Spens and other ballads, featuring a Scottish maritime ballad about a disaster at sea, with engravings by Jane Lidbury. Edgar Allan Poe's classic supernatural narrative poem, The Raven, was 1995's offering, with delightful engravings by George Tute. Deep into that darkness peering, long I stood there, wondering, fearing, doubting, dreaming dreams no mortals ever dared to dream before. The last two volumes differ a little in that they are small compilations selected directly by the Folly Society staff and they feature more illustrations in the earlier volumes as well. 1996 was a collection of 50 folio epigrams, short and pithy quotes or satirical poems illustrated by Peter Forster. And the final volume, released in 1997, was a selection of 50 folio love poems with 32 engravings by Simon Brett.
I hope you enjoyed looking at these delightful volumes and please subscribe if you'd like to see more beautiful books. Ciao!